<laughs> so, tell me, Patty, where are you originally from? Where do you originate? Ah, oh, I'm from Ghana, Ghana, West Africa. Ghana, West Africa. Because sometimes when I say Ghana, people go, oh, Guyana, Latin America. I go, no, West Africa. West Africa. Along the West African coast. If you know Gambia and Nigeria and Sierra Leone, and we're all in that coast, along the Atlantic. Along the Atlantic coast. So it's very, if you like Thai food, if you like Mexican food, Indian food, Indonesian, you will love Ghanaian food. Because the flavors are very, very similar. You know, the climate is similar, we grow similar foods. Yeah. And um, yeah, a bit of chili in your food, a bit of heat. I think the mistake that uh, a lot of us make in this country is we go to the supermarket and we buy our spices pre-ground in little jars produced by some industrial process. I know. And then That's... wonder why when we come to cook something, it doesn't taste the way we thought it ought to. Exactly. Really, spices should be bought in, should be bought whole and in small quantities. Two, three months, use them up and then, you know, replenish your cupboard. Because if you buy ground spices, the volatile oils have all dissipated, they're gone. You lose the aroma. Ground black peppers. Fantastic. Um, and turmeric is fabulous. I mean, fabulous. it is the spa spice of the moment. Yes. It's got health benefits as long as my arm. Yeah. Amazing stuff. So you can use it in your rice, in your stews, even have turmeric tea. Well, I, I certainly use it in rice and stews. So, today, what are you planning to do for us? Okay. Today, I'm going to be cooking black eye beans with Caribbean salt fish and a little bacon. Tell me about black eye beans. This is what it looks like. And I buy the dried beans or you can get them in a tin. What yes. are they called? A plate in the sun and a date with plantain. A date with plantain. You know, what this lady can't do with a hard 12 inch vegetable <laughs> banana has to be seen to be believed. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me, without waffle anymore, hand over to the wonderful Patty Slowly. And now I'm going to start our delicious black eye bean stew. Pans are nice and hot. Get a little bit of, now I use rapeseed oil in cooking. It's really the best oil to use in the kitchen. Absolutely the best. Olive oil, once upon a time, you know, everybody raved about olive oil. Olive oil, I mean, this is beautiful here, but olive oil is actually a finishing oil. It should be used to dress your salads and not using cooking, because when you cook with it at high temperatures, it becomes toxic and it's, it's not the one to use. So that's in there and yeah, it's hot because the, the oven, the pan was already on. I'm going to put my onion, sliced onions in there. Turn this up a little bit. Oh, it's gone off. That's that. Now this dish is a terrific one, this bean stew. You can add it, you can have it for breakfast. My husband will have it with eggs. Bit of bean stew with his eggs. And I used to do suppers in a place in Harpenden, in a wine bar, and they called it posh baked beans because they loved the dish. It's so rich and so tasty. In the summer, I was, um, no, just before the kids broke up, I was in schools in Luton, and I went to a school and cooked for 90 kids. So I cooked some at home to feed them, and I demonstrated this in front of them. Their eyes were on stalks. And the flavor, they were like, oh, love this. And it was amazing. I went into Harpenden in, in another school, and I did it for 30 kids. And this little boy came up, you know, he had eight tasters, he said, Indeed, this woman is not a chef, she's a sorcerer. They loved it. You know, it was wonderful to see children appreciate food. Wonderful, and different foods as well. You know, so many cultures have so many ben health benefits as well. And I think we really ought to open ourselves up and embrace other cultures and get some inspiration, you know? Right, so there. I'm going to add some cassava grains to that. Ladies and gentlemen, your lunch is served. Thank you. I need a volunteer. 
to come up. Don't be shy. I need a volunteer to come up and try, to try this. Who's coming? Wonderful. There you go. Enjoy. Very welcome. And give us the verdict. Oh, she just keeled over. <laughs> Wonderful. There you go. Right. So that's the black eye beans with the salt fish and bacon. And we've got the toasted cassava greens on the top. Very hot. Mmm, 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 mmm. No worries. Fantastic. Yep. How's that? Oh. <laughs> I think I can turn this off now. All I can say is I can tell why he married you. It is just amazing. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh. So. Mm. Yes, the, it just sort of disappears into the dish. There we are. For those, of you, that, for those of you that like Spin. to uh, prepare your food in advance, t tell me something, Patty. This basic kind of, you know, I don't mean basic, but the base sauce that you uh -huh. use. Can that be used in other dishes? Absolutely. This, if you can crack the sauce, you can cook Ghanaian food. So it's, it's a, the basis of a lot of our dishes. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. In the same way that I know people make up batches of sauces for curries and so on. Yes, and, and for bolognese, like and bolognese sauce bolognese and stuff like and that. So yeah. yeah. So really a, a kind of an African equivalent of those. Exactly. That's yeah. what I said in my book, actually. It is the African equivalent. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, if you've not tasted these, if you've not had a little taste of these fabulous spoon. sauces, the spoons are here, do come and get some of these dishes. The red, red dish uh, with plantain and... Oh, I uh, can serve some with Gary. If you want to try the Gary as well yeah. with this as well, yeah. please come up. So do come and try it. If you've not tried it, um, it's your opportunity to try something different if you've never had it before. I can there tell you are. that it is not hot, it's spicy, but it's not nice. hot, it's a rich flavour. Yes, of course, yes, of course. It's a rich flavour, just absolutely delicious. There we are. Round is just a demonstration of absolutely the simplest, tastiest African fusion food. And uh, Paddy Slowly uh, is uh, a chef who, as she told us earlier, never really learned to cook, uh, never cooked. She learned to cook, but she never cooked as a child and as a young woman. Um, but then suddenly realized that everything she'd watched her mother doing had been absorbed by osmosis into her very fibers. To my veins and Your everywhere. veins, <laughs> if you cut her, She's fusion. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I like that. Uh, and uh, this cookbook, if you've never tried African cookery, 20 pounds, Paddy will sign it for you. And really, you know, writing the cookery book was the first thing that she ever did, really, to become known as a chef encouraged by the fiance of a French chef. Yes, she's the one I met, Michelle yes. Novelli. In the nail yeah. bar, in having nail your bar. nails done. Exactly. You see, which just goes to show the most unlikely places sometimes lead yeah, to I know, opportunities. I remember saying to this woman once, she said, she calls me Patricia. She said, Patricia, I haven't seen you in a long time. You know, where have you been? And I said, oh, you know, I'm, I've started, uh, you know, I met, I bumped into this person quite by accident, da, 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 da. She said, Patricia, nothing is random. Life is what happens to you Absolutely. when you're busy making plans. So Absolutely. it was meant to be. It was. It was absolutely and, uh, meant to be. You know, I'm so grateful. I, I was asked to compare today. Um, and uh, it's, it's always lovely to see somebody who is not only good at what they do, but enthusiastic about it. Um, you know, for the Go. right reasons. Go away, Wasp. 
I totally love what Full I do, awesome. you know, honestly, Peter, I really do love what I do. Yeah. I love just sharing a bit of Ghana. And, and uh, you know, it's a wooden spoon. enthusiasm is the key to everything. You know, there we are. Somebody used to say that, uh, you know, it's going to land in there now. Even the wasp is after my yeah, spoon. Yeah, even the wasp are after it. <laughs> Used to travelling with your roadies. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I, I take yeah. you everywhere. Yeah, no, I can see. First thing my husband says to me on Friday night is, where are we going tomorrow? We're going where somewhere. We going? To, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And he so. said, Daventry. Yeah. And he went, where? <laughs> <laughs> but let's please thank Patty together. Big round of applause.